Hi, I am Chatur Dhanushka from Sri Lanka Institute of Information Technology. This is our second presentation based on Symbian operating system for programming language and design concept group project third year first semester. From our first presentation, we have covered basic ideas on Symbian operating system like what is Symbian operating system, history, features, application platforms, security and little bit about memory management and processors and threads. And now, from this presentation, we are mainly covered about architecture of the Symbian operating system. This is the place where you can watch our first presentation. Now, let's move on to our presentation. The first thing is we have to consider the design goals and architecture of the Symbian operating system. Capable of running forever. It means the robust management and reclaiming of the system resources. The preserve asynchronized services means all the resources are available to multiple simultaneous clients. In other words, it is services request and callback model rather than a blocking model. And also, Symbian operating system support for services support for instant availability and instant switching of applications. Symbian operating system certainly aim of unique processors making strong guarantees about the integrity and safety of user and data the ability of the system to run without failures perhaps as important as anything else the operating system set out from the beginning to be executable providing open application programming interfaces including native apis as well as supported for the visual basic like OPL languages and Java and easy to access to software development kits and development toolkits. However, Symbian operating system do not stand still. Architectures are dynamic and evolve. Symbian operating system has been in a state of continuous evolution since it is begin. And the new things are in architecture of the Symbian OS is a real-time kernel. This real-time kernel driven by a evaluating feature market needs in practically phone vendors chasing out design and new features and the platform security driven by broader market needs including operator, user and license need for a secure software platform. Cross-platform development, the developers mind the set more than of embedded system engineering than the standard microcomputer or PC model. Let's move on to design patterns of the Symbian operating system. The design principles of a system derive from its design goals and are realized in the concrete design pattern of the system. The key design patterns of Symbian operating system include the following. The microkernel pattern. The kernel responsibilities are reduced to an essential minimum. The client server pattern reduced are shared between multiple users, whether system services or applications. The framework design pattern are used at all levels from applications to device drivers and at all levels in between, but the essentially for hardware adaption level interfaces. The graphical application model is the application model for GUI and only serves have no user interfaces. An event-based application model means all users interaction is captured as events that are made available to applications through the event queue. Streams and stores for persistent data stores the nature's document model for an application. The class library is providing other user services and access to kernel services. And let's see what are the key designing patterns in Symbian operating system. Probably the most progressive architecture pattern in Symbian operating system is the structuring client server relationship between collaborating parts of the system, clients waiting services requests from the servers which own and share all the system resources between their clients. Another widely used pattern in the use of asynchronous method in client-server communication. Together, 
these two patterns impose their shapes on the system. Like any good architecture, the patterns repeat at multiple levels of abstraction and in all corners of the system. The client-server model. In the Symbian OS, all system resources are managed by the servers. The kernel itself is a server whose task is to manage the lowest level machine resources, CPU cycles and memory. From the kernel up, this pattern is universal. For example, the display is a resource managed by the managed by the phone server. Display fonts and bitmaps are managed by the font and bitmap server. The data communication hardware is managed by the serial server. The telephony stack and the associated hardware by the telephony server and so on all the way to the user interface level where the generic unicorn server manages the GUI abstraction on behalf of application clients, threads and processors. The client server model interacts with the processors and threading models. In Symbian OS, while this is keeping with the full object oriented approach with object mechanical resources in order to make them the fundamental objects in the system. It can also cause confusion in Symbian operating system. Processors in other words are units of memory protection. In particular, each process has its own heap, which is shared by all threads within the process. A process is created as an initiation of an executable image file and contains one thread. Creation of additional threads is under programmer control. Other executable code is normally loaded into a dynamic code segment attached to an existing process. Loading a DLL does attach dynamic code to the process context of the executing threads that involve it. Each server typically runs in its own process and its clients run in their own separate processors. Clients communicate with the server across the process boundary using the standard client-server conventions for inter-process communication. Server-side and client-side operation. Typically, a server is built as an EXE executable that implements the server-side classes and client-side DLL that implement the client-side interfaces to the server. Another deep pattern in the system is the design of services to be asynchronized. System responsiveness is a multitasking system depend on a asynchronized behavior. Application don't wait to finish processing one action before they are able to handle another. The alternative are blocking or pooling or a combination of both. Next thing is my kernel architecture. In the Symbian operating system, it has a microkernel architecture which sets it apart from the operating system such as Microsoft Windows and Linux have done. Symbian operating system for service that would be inside the kernel in a monolithic operating system are moved outside. In our first presentation, we have discussed about these layers and now we are going to discuss about these layers in very deeply. The first layer is UI framework layer, that is user interface layer. The topmost layer of Symbian operating system, the UI framework layer provides the frameworks and libraries of constructing a user interface including the basic class hierarchy for user interface control and other frameworks and utilities used by the user interface components. The UI framework layer also includes a number of specialist graphic based frameworks which are used by the user interface but which are also available to applications including the animation frameworks and the front end processor based on framework and grid. 